6 Hollyoaks spoilers for next week the 30th of September to the 2nd of October. Here's everything that's in store in Hollyoaks from Monday the 30th of September to Wednesday the 2nd of October. 1. Robbie throws Vicky out. The short-lived romance between Robbie and Vicky looks like it might be headed towards disaster next week following a shocking revelation. Last week, Robbie enlisted the help of his niece Lexi in order to propose to Vicky, and as the moment arrived, Robbie got down on bended knee in front of Teresa and John Paul to ask Vicky to be his wife, just as his brother Freddie entered declaring that Robbie can't marry her. Because she's still after Ethan. Next week, shocked by the news, Robbie sees no other option but to end their relationship. Throwing Vicky out on the street in front of Freddie with all of her bags. 2. Freddie is arrested. Following on from the breakup, Freddie tries to console his brother. But discussions soon turn to the illegal activity Freddie has been up to sourcing illegal drugs to help control Lexi's epilepsy. As tempers flare between the two, Robbie puts the drugs exactly where he thinks they belong in the bin. The act leaves a bitter taste in Freddie's mouth and the pair come to blows. With Freddie landing a punch on Robbie in front of wife Grace and Lexi. Freddie's anger is only exacerbated as he finds himself placed under arrest for assault. 3. Mercedes receives another blow. Mercedes found herself being delivered another blow last week. Not only is she raising two young daughters as a single mother and running a business, but she's also been battling bowel cancer. Confiding in Freddy, Mercedes was over the moon to learn that he would ask his contact, the same one who gets him Lexi's medication, whether it was possible to obtain some of the drug that she required. Next week, Mercedes' thrill at the possibility is shattered when Freddy informs her that he needs to get himself together and as a result, he won't be able to get the drugs for her. 4. Tony's Secret Romance Next week, Tony begins making plans to see Maxine without Diane. Although their romance has only been hinted at, eagle-eyed viewers assumed something was going on between the pair when they shared a moment during the first episode back following the time jump. When Maxine pops over to see Tony, Diane is upset and finds herself confiding in Nancy about the problems that she has been having with Tony. No sooner is she opening up to Nancy, than has Tony taken off his wedding rings and offered up a bouquet of flowers to his new love interest. Soon, romance takes over and the pair find themselves in a passionate embrace. Only to be spotted by Ro. With his secret now known by his son, Tony is forced to ask Ro to keep his secret. He confirms that he was on a date but wants to tell Diane in his own time. Will Ro keep his secret? 5. Jeremy's feelings towards Ethan and Sienna. As Ethan and Sienna's wedding day approaches, the pair are desperate to keep things low-key. However, Liberty refuses to let the opportunity of Stag and Hen's events go by. So she organizes a joint event for the pair. However, it seems that Sienna's father Jeremy is hesitant about the whole nuptial situation. And when it comes out that Jeremy is feeling left out, Ethan finds himself drawn to his soon-to-be father-in-law, wanting his happiness and approval of the marriage. 6. Darren and Nancy support JJ. Last week, JJ's trial was supposed to begin, but when he collapsed in the courthouse, it was quickly discovered that he was suffering from leukemia. Now in hospital awaiting the commencement of his treatment, he is desperate for support. Despite what he has done, Darren made it clear last week to daughter Frankie that JJ is still his son and needs support. Next week, Darren and Nancy find themselves putting his crimes to the side in order to support him. Will Frankie find herself doing the unthinkable and dropping the rape charges in order to provide support to JJ? Bạn vừa theo dõi một sản phẩm của Israel Soleil. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở những video sau.